after 29 years and Ghana still hold on to found memories of their 1991 Under-17 World Cup triumph. The first time Ghana lifted a World Cup in any competition and it was secured by a goal by Emmanuel Dia against Spain. Here is a report after a conversation with one of the heroes, that is Dia, who scored the winner in the final. Ghana versus Spain. Two top under-17 teams in the early 90s. Both with an eye for the top prize, the World Cup. Spain carried the hopes of Europe, while Ghana seemed to be burdened with Africa's huge expectations. After beating a Brazil team that possessed several top players in the knockout stages, Ghana will not be bullied by Spain. Emmanuel Dua gave the Black Starlets the well-deserved lead, a goal which also proved to be the winner. Almost three decades after, Dia still has a smile on his face, describing the height of the achievement. It's been a while, 29 years. Wow, 29 years. It's not easy. Since then, Ukraine, said that, apart from 95, you know, we have been the demo of the World Cup and the 20th by, you know. We have been able to win the World Cup, but we are still waiting for a cup. Coached by German tactician Otto Fista, Dia says he gave them the freedom to play even ahead of tough games. That helped them to victory. I'm going to play against Brazil in the quarterfinals. But before the match, he go down on his knees and pray for the team. And then we went there and we win easily. Neo Dati Lamte might have come out the ultimate star from the Black Starless team that conquered the world. But tremendous respects to Kofimbia, Mohamed Gago, and sweeper Isaac Asari, as well as the rest of the Starless team. They travel to Europe as comrades on the battlegrounds far away from home. Today, they are the heroes never to be forgotten.